Okay, let's start. So, do you have the copy of of your SSLM number for class? Opo. 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 Okay, so let's start immediately. So today we will be learning the following things on what you call the statistics are and step number two organizing and presenting data so what is this organizing and presenting data in this lesson we will be constructing pie graph bar graph and line graph so yesterday we were able to make a pie graph and now we will be making a bar graph so what is this bar graph all about from the word bar meaning magkakaroon po tayo ng drawing ng mga bar lines take a look at this example so we have the picture below the vertical bar graph where in um, there is an x-axis or the horizontal one, the y-axis or yung patayo, the vertical one. So what is this bar graph all about? When you say bar graph, it uses parallel bars of different lengths and of equal widths. It is either horizontal or vertical to represent counts for several categories. Take a look at this example number two. So we have the surveyed 50, uh, 50 by the lahat, 50 grade seven hyacinth students were in, they are asked what is their favorite subject. In this case, English, English uh, students chose four, four students ch uh, sh um, chose English as their favorite subject. We have six students chose math. Five for science, for Filipino, TLE is three, SP is nine, AP is six, and MAP is seven. Now, how are we going to construct this bar graph out of this data that we have? So there are three steps in order to for us to um, make the bar graph. So the first one is, for a while. So the first step is we are going to write the x and the y axis. So we are going to decide which is the x and which is the y axis. It depends on you. Usually, the x axis, yung pahiga, yan po yung mga hindi numbers. Samantalang yung mga naka-numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth, yun po yung nakapatayo or the y axis. Tingnan nyo dito sa ating figure. Yung mga numbers na 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, or yung mga 4, 6, 5, 10, 3, 9, 6, 7 sa table, yan po yung y-axis natin or patayo. Samantalang yung mga subjects naman na English, Math, Science, Filipino, TLE, ESP, AP, and MAP, yan naman yung pahiga or subjects na tinatawag. Next, letter B. We are going to draw the bars on the proportional quantities. So take a look at this. Yung bar naka-darken po. Pwede pong walang color na dark, pwede naman pong meron. Or space, then space at the middle, then bar, space at the middle, then bar, space, bar, space, bar. Do not forget to write the space, okay? So it is very important na may space po yan siya. Kasi po, pag nilag, bin, inalis nyo po yung space, ibang tawag naman po yun. Hindi na yun siya bar graph, okay? Next, the last one is we are going to make a title. Based on the given, for example, SIDA surveyed 50 grade 7 hyacinth students, yan po yung title natin, grade 7 hyacinth students, Favorite subject. Yan po yung title natin. Okay? Let's start making or constructing example number two, bar graph. So, first is you are going to make a X and Y axis. Okay? For this, we have the Y axis, the X axis. Okay? So, what is the largest number based on this? Tingnan nyo sa given. 4, 6, 10, 5, 3, 9, 6, 7. What is, what is the largest number? 10. So we have 10 as our greatest number. In that case, um, anong next number niya after 10? We have 11, right? One. Anong next number after 10? We have 11. Okay. Kaso lang, 11 is bumkig. So when you say bumkig, para siyang butal. So anong next sa kanya na number na hindi siya butal? That is 12. So by 2 tayo. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on and so forth. So we have zero. Ang zero laging dito sa baba. Okay, this is always zero. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Pwede bang ilagay ko fourteen? Pwede naman po. It's up to you. Pero mas maganda na twelve na lang talaga. Kung ano yung next number na hindi butal or bungkig. 
Next, you have to make sure na ang spaces ng 12 to 10, itong mga bars na ito or mini bars, dapat equally sila. Okay, hindi sila um, iba-iba. Next, you have to make sure na pantay-pantay yung pagkasulat. Kapag sobra po, murahin lang. Ganun po. Para po uniform. And make sure na straight line, straight line. In this case, natikok ko siya kasi wala akong ruler na sa classroom. So next, yung mga subjects naman po ilalagay natin sa baba. So the first subject is English. So ilalagay natin dito ang word na subjects. Dito naman sa kabila, itong 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, ang tawag nito ang number of students or number of votes. So isulat natin number of votes. Hindi na siya magkasya sa camera, pero number of votes in fact isusulat dyan. Okay, let's start with the first one which is English. For English, there are four students based on the table. So saan ba yung four? So dyan ka gagawa ng bar graph. Now, pwedeng i-shade, pwede pang hindi i-shade. It's up to you. Next, the math is 6. So, lagyan na space. Ka-level niya dapat ang 6. Ito po ang 6, ka-level niya dapat. So, we have now math. The next one is science. So, for science, we have 5. So, between 4 and 6, that is equal to 5. You have to make sure that the space here and space here are all equal. So again, pwede siyang ishade, pwede din pong hindi. It's up to you po. Okay, in this case, ishade ko siya sa akin. Next, um, Filipino. Right, Filipino here. Filipino is 10. So therefore, dito tayo. Sa Filipino. Then shade. The next one is TLE. TLE is 3, so therefore between 4 and 2. And so on and so forth. So ganun lang po yung paggagawa. So tapusin na lang natin, we have ESP, that is 9, so between 8 and 10. We have AP, that is 6. So we have 6 here. And the last one is MAPE, that is 7. So, 7 after 6 is 7. So, ganyan po. So, in this case, yan na po yung bar graph natin. Now, may kulang pa po tayo dyan, the title. So, you have to make sure na masusulat niyo yung title. So, we have graph. Kahapon po, graph number 1. So, we go now with graph number 2. These are the favorite subjects of grade 7 Hyacinth. Okay? So, yan po yung title. Saan ko po pinuha ang title doon sa example number 2? Sabi daw po, there are surveyed 50 grade 7 highest in students about their favorite subjects. So, ganun lamang po pag gawa ng ating um, bar graph in this um, lesson. Now, kaya nyo na ba siyang gawin based on this? Step 1, you are going to write X and Y axis. Yung number po nasa Y axis or patayo. Yung mga words nasa, nasa baba or pahalang. Pahalang ba tawag ito yung Tagalog or pahiga? Ganun po. Tapos, i-draw agad yung mga bar based sa mga numbers na gibigay sa given. Tapos, lagyan ng title. Tapos na. Yun naman yung steps. Tatlong steps lamang po ang gagawin para makakuha tayo ng tinatawag or makagawa tayo ng tinatawag na bar graph. Okay? Now, for your activity, I would like you to answer activity number one. Huwag nyo po basahin yung instructions sa activity number one. Ito po yung instru instruction natin, baguhin natin yung activity. Activity number one, item number one, kahapon po item number two yung sinagotan ninyo. Ngayon naman po ay activity number one. So being sick, Elaine listed her body temperature for five days. Okay, ito yung body temperature ni Elaine. You are going to make a bar graph out of it. Now, take a look at this example. Sabi po dito 37, 38, 37, 37, 37. Now, masyado pong malaki, tama? Nasa 37 siya. So, pwede nyo po siyang putulin. Paano nyo putulin? Example, papakita ko sa inyo. Allow me to erase this in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, ganahin ko na po. So, kapag gagawa po kayo nun, isulat nyo po yung x and y axis. In this case, tingnan nyo, pinutol ko siya. ba? So, lagyan nyo agad ng ganyan. Ibig sabihin, lumakbang siya. So, start tayo dito. We have, 
Ano bang pinakamababa dyan? We have 37. So, we have 37.0. Or 0.5 tayo mag-start is 7.5. Next, 38.0. 38.5. And so on and so forth. Hanggang matapos nyo, hanggang lumampas. Okay? Hindi po pwede na, na mas mababa yung bisulat nyo na number sa inyong um, given. Kailangan po mas lumampas talaga siya. Okay? So, pwede pa pong dagdagan dyan kasi hanggang 38.2. Ah, hindi na po. Okay na po. Pwede na pong mag-end dyan. Okay? So, in that case, gagawa nyo siya ngayon ng tinatawag nating bar graph. So, pwede ba? Within 30 minutes, kaya nyo ba? Class? Opo. Okay, so let's end this one and you may start the activity now. And submit your answers at facebook.com slash human2021. Goodbye everyone, thank you and God bless. Bye po sir. Bye sir. Bye sir. Bye, sir.